Last week, President Harris and I stood in the United States Capitol to observe one of those before and after moments in American history. President Harris and I, when the Bible teaches us to feed the hungry and give water to the thirsty, the new Georgia law actually makes it illegal. Think of this. I mean, it's 2020. And now 22 going into that election, it makes it illegal to bring your neighbors, your fellow voters, food or water while they wait in line to vote. What in the hell heck are we talking about? <laughs> Jim Crow 2.0 is about two insidious things, voter suppression and election subversion. It's no longer about who gets to vote. It's about making it harder to vote. It's about who gets to count the vote and whether your vote counts at all. It's not hyperbole. This is a fact. I've been having these quiet conversations with the members of Congress for the last two months. I'm tired of being quiet. I believe that the threat to our democracy is so grave that we must find a way to pass these voting rights bills. Debate them. Vote. Let the majority prevail. And if that bare minimum is blocked, we have no option but to change the Senate rules, including getting rid of the filibuster for this. The filibuster has been used to generate compromise in the past, promote some bipartisanship, but it's also used to obstruct, including especially obstruct civil rights and voting rights. Today, I'm making it clear to protect our democracy, I support changing the Senate rules whichever way they need to be changed to prevent a minority of senators from blocking action on voting rights. I did not walk in the shoes of generations of students who walked these grounds, but I walked other grounds because I'm so damn old I was there as well. <laughs> they think I'm kidding, man. Seems like yesterday, the first time I got arrested. Anyway, <laughs> but their struggles here, they were the ones that opened my eyes as a high school student in the late, in the late 50s and early 60s. They got me more engaged in the work of my life. And what we're talking about today is rooted in the very idea of America.